Jan Buntag and welcome to another exciting episode of My Filipino Adventure. I'm Mike, your American Tour Guide, but I am here in the Philippines with my lovely fiance, Ina. Yeah, hi. Good morning. And where are we at? We are still here in Puerto Galera at Nirvana Resort. As you can see, the bar in the infinity swimming pool behind us mm -hmm. is a very nice restaurant. So yesterday we had some plans, but we didn't do anything because why? It's too hot. It's too damn hot. <laughs> And today is just as hot as it was yesterday. So, but we, we're gonna suck it up. We're gonna put on our big boy pants and we're just gonna take it like a man and just brave the heat. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a trike to... Sabang. Sabang, which is another island over here. And we hear they have nice snorkeling and we can take a, like a boat trip, um, island hopping. Mm -hmm. And we, maybe we can see some corals and swim around and enjoy the nature. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. I tell you what, why don't you come with us? Sound like a good idea? Yeah. Okay, so come on along. So we are going to do in a hotel or a travel agency. And for Thank you. $24 a person, which is 1,200 pesos. So they're going to come get us here, to yeah. drive us to Sabang. Yes. That's about how far? Ah, Sabang. Sabang, right? No, it's Sunbar. Uh, it's, uh, we don't go to Sabang, we just go to Sunbar. This is the package yes. date of 1,200, not in Sabang, oh, just okay. in yes. Sunbar. Oh, I thought it was in Sabang for some reason. Where is the Sandbar? Uh, and Sunbar is on the Santo Nino port. Okay, yeah, so it's the other side of the port, okay. So that's where the underwater cave and the snorkeling and fish and stuff. Small boat. Small garden, small boat. Okay. Guide for the bank uh, and fish feeding. But so we're gonna do some snorkeling. They have snorkeling gear for yes, us. Yes, yes. They have it. Life vest, snorkeling mask, and spot are provided to each person. Terminal fees are included. Four beaches. And how about how long is it? You say? Uh, it's two to four hours. It depends on you. Oh, two to four hours. Okay. Yes. So here is our ride. Came to pick us up right here in front of Nirvana. And an air conditioned ride right to Sandbar. Oops. That's rad. We huh? are really spoiled. <laughs> Who's spoiled? Thank you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Nina is spoiled. So we're right outside Nirvana. It did take us long. Five minutes after we paid for our uh, day trip, mm -hmm. this driver came and picked us up. Now he's probably going in to double check and make sure if we're paid or something. And then off we go to um, Sandbar. So I, sandbar, so yeah. Do you have Do you have the all the where we're going snorkeling and everything? Yeah, I've got video of that. Yeah. Right. So everything you saw, that's what we're gonna do. Sorry, sir. Oh, okay. this is our driver. What's your name? Elmer. My name is Elmer from OTG. Elmer. Hi, Elmer. Hi. He's gonna be our driver. Okay, so they say a small boat, they mean a small boat, huh? <laughs> this is where we're going to start and we're going to go out and what are we going to do first? Giant clams? And... Yeah, giant clams. But he said the waves were too... Snorkeling. He said the waves were too big to do what? To go to the cave? Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Uh -huh. so we... He said we'll have another activity. What was the other activity we can do? Um, starfish, the big starfish. He said big starfish. Okay.
back from school snorkeling. snorkeling out there and it, I'll put up some of the video I took but I have got this waterproof supposedly waterproof bag the problem is is when you put your phone in it and you put it underwater it does leak a little bit but good thing that the iPhone 8 is waterproof so as long as it doesn't get totally drenched so it got a little water in there I wasn't too worried about that but what happens is when you put the underwater, the plastic seals so tight against the screen that you can touch and touch and touch and touch your iPhone, but nothing happens. So it was hard for me to get any video because it was absolutely beautiful, wasn't it? True. Oh my God. Very just, beautiful. Yeah, you start off near some corals and then it drops off and it's just blue as blue like water, like a swimming pool and fish. Oh, and all then kinds the giant of clams. Giant clams. So then finally I got sick of trying to monkey with the camera underwater and sometimes you have to say you know what i'm going to enjoy the moment for me and who cares if i have video this is this is about an experience i just wanted to do an experience it for myself so i put my camera back in the boat and just enjoyed the rest of it and then what do you know it nina finds a what's that what did you see about and when we're out there, all of a sudden, we went, oh, look, we dove in. It was yeah, a, the sea turtle. Yeah, so we saw a big sea turtle, a real big one. And, and she the, was the, just having a feast, sticking her head into some coral. So the, uh, the driver said, go, Michael, go touch the sea turtle. So I swam down there, like, didn't really want to touch the sea turtle. I don't know. So I grabbed him by the fin. And he just kind of looked back at me like, what's up, dude? And then uh, he just went back to eating. So, yeah. But the driver of the boat said, oh, you're so lucky to touch a sea turtle. Oh, he says it was very lucky. So now we just walked a little bit from where the boat dropped us off on the beach over here. Mm -hmm. We walked over here to order some food. And this is our waitress. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Ati. <laughs> and what's the name of this place? Elizabeth's Elizabeth Hideaway? Elizabeth Hideaway. So it's a hotel? Yeah. And, okay. In Bukit Island, Santo Nino, Puerto Galera. Ano mama iya? So I'm going to try. How is the sizzling chili squid? Right, Kong Kong. I sizzling. With the squid? Is it uh, like sizzling? Sizzling. Sizzling chili squid with chili. rice? Squid. 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 With the rice. With rice. With rice. And then, ito ate yung fried kangkong. Fried kangkong. Ah, with white bell White bell bell part. At tapos, eh, yung malit lang. Oh, small. Okay. Yeah. Small. So we're going to get a little lunch here and then decide what we're going to do next. What but else, we'll babe? be sure to bring you a lot of goat. Hey, Mr. Kending. The sign for goat is Kending. Kending. Eating the flowers? Are you supposed to be eating the flowers? Are you? I don't think the owners would like to eat the flowers. No, well, I guess you're not eating the flowers. You're just eating the weeds. So that's a good goat. A good goat will do that. Ah, uh, resort goats. Gotta love them. Something else you don't see a whole lot of in the Philippines is this whatever kind of grass this is. Oh, it feels so good on your feet. It's so soft. It's almost like a putting green. And it's really good on your feet. It's really comfortable. And you can just take this grass right up to the beach and seeing everybody enjoy themselves. We almost lost our towel. Mr. Canding came over there and was you know, right there drying her towel out and he kind of sniffed and chewed on her towel. She caught him just in time though. I missed the video. Sorry. That's some sizzling squid there. That's some chili, sizzling chili squid with rice. And that's the uh, king kong. King kong. <laughs> it's a Chinese uh, uh, vegetable dish. Whoa. That looks fresh too. Mm 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 mm. We're gonna dig into that. There's some sprite. And we're just gonna eat it over here. Got some buddies here. Oh, 
a kitten too. Uh, 20 minutes for our driver to come. In the meantime, look, fresh buku, coconut. Buku is coconut. Yeah. So we're going to have a nice refreshing buku water. For 50 pesos. 50 pesos? Eh, cost you a buck. That's not bad. Especially in a tourist area. So we're going to enjoy some buku and then we're going to wait for our driver to take us back to our hotel Nirvana. After you finish drinking your buku juice, and this gentleman here will cut it open for you so you can eat the coconut inside. Wow, look at that. Salamat. Okay. We are here in Aydan to use this one. <laughs> Doesn't get any fresher than that. Fresh coconut. Mm. Okay, so uh, we're back at the hotel room, and that uh, wrapped up that part of the trip, right? The what? We're making so many videos now. That was the what? The sandbar. So, um, but the day's not over, so tune into the next video to see what we did after that. And I think that's a Filipino Food Day, National Filipino Food Day. Um, so, so, you know the routine, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And as always, as Ina will tell you, stay classy. Stay classy.